Hello guys, it is Shivam here. Welcome to our brand new video where we are going to make the onboarding screens by using Flutter. So do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's get started. So before we move forward, if you have an amazing app idea but you don't have a time or skills to develop an app, don't worry, my team will develop the app for you. So you can search for my startup name which is an app crafting at app crafting we transform ideas into powerful beautiful mobile experience whether you are a startup or a business ready to scale we design build and launch your app fast professional and ready for the world you can just fill out the contact form and get a quote just fill out your name your last name and your email and your requirements as well and after submitting this form my team will reach you out to develop your app for both play store and app store let's move and now i'm going to simply taught you how we can create some engaging onboarding screens in our flutter app now when you develop any flutter app you know that onboarding screens are the main part as to look your app really good because like onboarding screen is something that simply engages the user and it also tells about your app like what all features that the user will going to get while using this app right so that's a main purpose of the onboarding screens yeah so i'm going to teach you how we are going to create some engaging onboarding screen right now here i've used some of the images in the onboarding screen i uh, as i have already provided you the link in the description box and in the comment box as well about a link of an images that i have used for this onboarding screen if you want to use this image and want to add the onboarding screens i mean the same onboarding screens in your app you can do that no worries about that you can use this images and can simply make the app right now here as i have told you i have used the images folder so now you are going to see the this images folder now once we do all these things now here what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to simply move to the leap folder and i'm going to create a new file name which will be like an onboarding page 1.dart so basically there will be a three pages that i'm going to add on this app so i'm going to just pass the first onboarding page name which is like onboarding 1.dart so first i'm going to import the package by using material.dart and in the stateful widget name i i mean the page name we can just pass like onboarding one something like this now here i need to just write a scaffold a body and we'll just need to write body container child and a column and a children now once we do this now here i just need to use the image as i've told you that i'm going to use the image for this three onboarding screens so i need to just write image dot asset and here i need to pass a images folder name and then i need to pass the image file name so the image file name that i just need to pass which is like onboard dot png something like this now here i just need to call the our page name which is like an onboarding one so i just call the onboarding page so that i can show you basically what all code i'm writing now here you can see that this is a debug banner i don't need this banner so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to just manage this and will just pass like debug so check mode banner and we'll just pass debug show check mode banner to false something like this now as you can see that the debug banner has been removed from here now once i do this now here i'm going to just move back and first i'm going to just pass the background color to this complete screen now let me see what color has been used over here so i just need to write colors dot amber and i think so we can use a different shade of in this color let's see what really match over here okay it's not it's not as well it's like color white a oh, different shade of an white okay let's see how it will look when we pass white so i just need to pass like colors which is like colors dot white okay yeah it's color white so here it is now just below this image i'm going to pass the text which is like find your favorite recipe right now here i just need to use the text widget and in the text widget i just need to pass the text widget which is like find your favorite f favorite i hope that spelling is correct recipes yeah so favorite recipes we can just pass the styling a text style color we can use a colors dot black which will be enough and we can just pass a font size 
which will be like 25.0 and we can use a font weight which will be directly like font weight dot bold so here you can see that this is the text i just decrease down the text to 23 now here once we do this i just need to pass the size box height 20.0 which is enough right so find your favorite recipe and here just below this text i'm going to pass the text like look for your favorite food and enjoy it with your loved ones yeah so here this is the text that i'm going to use so i need to use a text widget back again and here i just need to write look your look for your look for your favorite favorite food and enjoy enjoy it with your it with your loved ones something like this now i just need to pass the styling a text style text style we need to just pass the color which is like colors dot black we can use a font size let's pass 16.0 i guess that will be enough and font weight we can use like font weight dot w 500 something like this now here you can see that this is the text but i need this in the complete center so what i'm going to do is that i just need to first pass a text align and we'll use a text align dot center something like this now i just need to copy the size box and in the size box we are going to just place the size box something over here or we can use up to 10 now once we do this here i just need to manage the color because i don't need this in complete black color so i just need to manage the color something like this it's too light i guess you can directly pass this now here i just need to pass like dot padding as in set dot only will use dot only from the left which will like 20.0 from the right we can just pass 20.0 okay so padding didn't work over here we can just pass 30 and 30 let's see okay it's working so we can use 40 i guess 40 will be enough yeah yeah 40 is enough yeah so this is what we can do now once we have shown this text and all and we can just pass like some more height maybe up to 20 and here i just need to increase this text let's pass 24 which will be enough yeah so once we do this here i'm going to just show the skip text and the next button so for that i'm going to just manage here i just need to pass a row children and i need to use a text widget in the text widget i need to just copy this text widget it'll just wait a second we need to copy this text widget we'll just paste it something over here and here we just need to pass like skip something like this we'll just pass font weight dot bold which is enough we can just pass like up to 16 16 will be too less let's pass 18 and we can use w500 yeah rather than bold we can use w500 something like this i guess 20 will be enough yeah so once we do this now here you can see that skip button but i also want to show you one thing like we are going to think about a responsive app because if you're developing the app as i've told you many many times before in this say, channel that responsive is one of the most important thing when you're developing the app so we need to think about a responsiveness before we develop an app right so what i'm going to do is that here i'm going to just create a spacer and through the spacer i'm going to just pass a maximum spacing and then we'll manage through the padding i think so you're getting what i'm trying to explain if not let me show you so here i just need to first pass a container decoration a box decoration now in this box decoration i'm going to use the color now let me see that color code because i don't remind that color code that i'm going to use so let me find that color code and we'll get back in few seconds yeah so here you can see that we have just passed this color and we can use this color code now here i just need to pass the width which will be 100 then i need to pass a child i need to copy this text which it back again and once we need to copy this text widget we'll just paste it something over here okay now then i'm going to just pass like next over here and we can center this with the help of center widget we'll just pass like center okay now once we do this i just need to pass the height let's pass like 70 okay 70 is enough now here i want that a maximum space within this text and this container now what i need to do is that i just need to pass a main which will be like main main axis alignment dot space between and this function will just give a maximum space between these two widgets as you can see over here now i just need to pass the border radius and we'll just pass the border radius border radius dot circular border radius dot circ only sorry not circular from the top left 
I just need to pass like radius dot circular, which will be 60, and from the bottom left, which will be like radius dot circular to 60. So here you can see that this is what we have passed. Now here. I'm going to just pass the padding because as you can see that the skip text have been stuck to the left side. I don't need this. So I just need to wrap up with a padding widget. We'll just need to pass like dot only from the left. We can directly pass like 20.0. Okay. So I think so. We have used a row widget. I have used a row widget again. Sorry for that here. So I just need to wrap up with padding and here I just need to pass a child something like this yeah so once we do this here it is now i just need to pass the spacer now i told you the use of an spacer and this is what now i need to just part the spacing from the bottom so i just need to pass like bottom and from the bottom we can just pass like 30.0 which is enough i guess yeah now we can pass like 40.0 okay so this is what we have done i can think i think so we can increase the width let's pass like 150 okay so this is what we have done now once we do this our first page has been created for our onboarding screen i mean the first onboarding screen has been created now we are going to create a second onboarding screen now here i just need to move to the leaf folder again and here i just need to write onboarding to dot dot yeah now i need to just first import the package we'll just write material dot dot and then I need to just write a stateful widget name, which will be the page name. And we need to just write onboarding too. Now I need to just copy all the code that we need. So I need to just copy this code and we just need to paste it something over here. So once we do this, now here I just need to call the our second onboarding page. So I just need to call the second onboarding page, something like this. Okay. Now here i'm going to do one thing like here i just need to call onboard.2.png so this is the image that i'm going to use and then i need to just pass the engaging text which is like easy and fun to prepare fun it's like fin not fin we need fun fun to prepare fun to prepare p r e p a r e prepare yeah so easy and fun to prepare we can just pass the text which is like learn new which is like learn new and interesting interesting cooking procedures pro c -sers. okay so this is the text i think so interesting spelling is correct yeah it is yeah so once we do this our second page onboarding page has been done now we can simply create the third page so I'm going to just move to the leap folder back again. We are going to create a new file name, which is like onboarding, onboarding, onboarding three dot dot. We can just import the package by using material dot dot and we'll use a stateful widget name, which will be the page name and we can just pass onboarding three. So this is what we have done. And I need to just copy all the things and we directly paste it something over here. Now I need to just pass the image file name, which is like onboarding 3.png. Now I just need to call this page so that I can show you what all code I'm writing. Yeah, so I'll just need to call this. So this is the third image that we are going to use. Now, once we do this here, I'm going to just write share your recipes. Now you get to know that I'm basically creating a onboarding screen for our recipe app. So I just need to write for your recipes. And here I just need to pass the text, which is like share your, share, share your, share your favorite, favorite recipes. Okay. I think so spelling is correct. If not, then sorry for that. Uh, with the valid and let and let others enjoy your favorite f o r i t e okay so i think so favorite spelling is again correct okay if not then sorry for that okay favorite food okay so this is the text i need to pass share your favorite recipes with valid and let's enjoy your favorite food so we have just created all the three onboarding screens now we need to just pass like so when the user will tap to the skip button you can if you are adding this onboarding screen to some other apps you can just redirect the user to the home page or the any page you want like 
they can land like login or sign up page but if you are adding the next uh, like user clicking to the next button we are going to just allow the user to move to the second onboarding page so i just need to write gesture detector and in the on tap method so here i just need to write in the on tap method we can just use like navigator we can use navigator dot push and i'm going to just push the user so for that i just need to pass like material page root we are going to pass context and in the context i'm going to just push the user to the second onboarding page so i just need to pass like this so once we do this now i think so the user can simply move to the second onboarding page and once they land to the second onboarding page i just need them to allow to move to the third onboarding page so i just need to wrap up with gesture detector and in the on tap method i just need to paste it something over here yeah so this is what we have done now we'll just hot restart the app we click to the next sorry we need to first move to the onboarding first onboarding page so we can just move to the first onboarding page so this is what we are we have moved we'll click to the next and you can see that we have moved to the second onboarding page and we have moved to the third onboarding page so this is how we can simply create some awesome onboarding pages right i hope that you get to know how we can simply create some onboarding pages by just a simple use of some widgets in flutter now if you want to learn some more apps like as i have told you that i have already made like 27 plus variety of apps in this channel so you can just follow that i will provide you the link in the description box where you can simply tap to that playlist and can add some more apps to your resume and can get to know about how we can use a flutter and for the back end we have used firebase apis and all until then keep coding keep having fun i will see you next time thanks for watching